first round. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back. I'm in Birmingham for Cage Warriors 109. Jai Herbert defends his lightweight title against Kane Carrizosa. Both fighters looking to get into the UFC. In Kane's case, looking to get back into the UFC after a long stint away, after he got caught losing his two fights in the UFC. Jai Herbert, he's borderline very close to being signed to the UFC with a victory here and possibly one more title defense I think sometime next year he will be in the UFC as for Kane Carrizosa I think a lot of people are sleeping on him Got very, he can shut the lights out on Jai Herbert at any time in my opinion if he does win and then goes on to defend the Cage Warriors title the lightweight title early next year towards the end of this year I think he'll be in the UFC as well co-main event Dean Truman faces Morgan Shea yeah? in my opinion in my opinion this is a number one contender fight um, the winner gets the winner of Mads Burnell and Amobel I can't say his name for heaven's sake but the winner of Amobel whoever wins this fight I'm leaning towards Dean Truman very good fights on the card Brian Bulan versus Chris Meyer Chris Meyer not the most active but we'll see how the fight goes uh, Jordan Vesenich versus Conmon Day Conmon Day seems to be a litmus test for most fighters um, in Cage Warriors, some of these young up-and-comers, if he does get past him, I think he'll get a higher-ranked opponent. And within two, three fights, if he does win, gets a title shot. Who, who else is on? Mick Stanton versus Michael Eunice. The fight's going to hit the ground, in my opinion. Samir Ali Kozai versus Perry Goodwin. Should be a very good night of fights. Some amateur fights, which I love um, as well. Not that many, but a couple of amateur fights. Should be interesting to see. But all in round, some good night of fights. And we'll see how the night goes. I am very early, but... It is what it is, so come and join me and see how the night goes. Smith wins our fight. His grappling was way too much for Ebanks. Way too much. Unanimous decision. All three rounds. Easy. Nice! Round one, Jordan. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, round two, Jordan taken down early reverse position. Go on top, managed to control the rest of the round and take one day down as well. Round two, Jordan again. Good, solid performance for Jordan Vertaini. Won all three rounds. Third round took him down, stayed on top. Although come one day, got on top towards the end. But ultimately, Jordan Vertaini, uh, unanimous decision.
Nick Stanton. I knew it. She drifted too good, man. Boy. That's a very good first round for Perry Goodwin. Very good first round. Perry Goodwin's got his number on the feet, man. Very good win wins our fight. He won the first two rounds. Third round, Ali Kozai just got on top of him. Very good win reversed the position towards the end. But very good win won the first two rounds, so you know, and it's a decision for him. Cage Warriors 109, it's a wrap. Jai Herbert retains his lightweight title after stopping Kane Carrizosa in the first round. Boy, not the most exciting night of fights, but I will start off with Jai Herbert because he deserves it. Kane Carrizosa, they come, he come out swinging, he started fast. I did not expect him to start that quick. He started quick, they got caught in a few exchanges at the beginning, but then ultimately caught, he put him in that, um, that clinch, landed a brutal knee and knocked him out. He's just shown that he is ready for the UFC. He dominated Jack Grant in, in, his, uh, in his last fight to win the title. Now to defend the title, KOs Kane carries also in one round. I think he will be on the UFC London card, deservedly so. And I can't wait to see him there. Co-main event, Morgan Shahir. First two rounds took Dean Truman down, didn't offer much offense, stayed on top of him. Third round landed a big overhand right, swarmed in with uppercuts, landed the knee and Referee stopped it. What a victory for him. He goes on, in my opinion, to face the winner of the featherweight title fight next month in, in London. Um, the rest of the card, Chris Meyer beat um, Brian Bouland. Mick Stanton, after injuring his knee in the second round, managed to submit Mick, uh, Michael Eunice. Jordan Vesenic showcased his grappling rather than his striking. Showcased he's got good grappling, very offensive. En route to a decision over Conmon Day. That was it. Not the best night of fights, but it'd be like that sometimes. I just appreciate the martial arts and everyone that steps into that cage because I know I can't do it. So hopefully you guys liked it. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.